My mission is simple, to make you money. I'm here to level the playing field for all investors. There's always a bull market somewhere, and I promise to help you find it. Mad Money starts now. Hey, I'm Kramer. Welcome to Mad Money. Welcome to Kramerica. Other people want to make friends, just trying to make you some money. My job is not just to entertain, but to educate and to teach you. So call me at 1-800-743-CBC or tweet me at Jim Kramer. At first blush might be the most important and dangerous cliche in this market. The first blush is often so wrong that you need to do everything you can to avoid being drawn into the maw of lunacy or at least stupidity. They know nothing! Including on days like today, where the Dow gained 142 points, that's going to be advanced 0.12%, NASDAQ declined 0.01%. What makes the first blush so unreliable? Why can't we just take earnings at face value and immediately decide that something is either good or bad? Because it takes time to assess new information. Just like anything else, when you rush to judgment in the stock market, you're going to make mistakes. That's why you can't rely on the first blush to determine how a company's doing. Take Snowflake. Last night, the cloud data analytics company reported, and the stock got hit immediately. But if you bothered to listen to CEO Frank Slootman on last night's show, you would have been a buyer, not a seller, because it was a brilliant quarter. And that's why the stock jumped more than 4% today after opening down nearly 4%. The second blush, much more accurate. At first blush, you might think Beyond Meat setting itself up for a big quarter thanks to its deals with McDonald's in China, KFC. That could explain why the stock's soaring, right? I mean, huh? But then you find out it's the Wall Street Bets gang. They're simply trying to break the short sellers here because, well, 25% of the float is sold short. The actions tell you nothing about the fundamentals, although I do predict, like Mr. T in Rocky, more Pain for the shorts. Tonight is one of the most special nights we've ever had in 16 years. Tonight we're testing the first blush, the first blush thesis to destruction. We're tackling not one, not two, not three, or even four, but five CEOs dealing with the pain of first blush impressions about everything from earnings acquisitions to ESG concerns that have suddenly come into focus, particularly after a group of insurgents without a lot of money. Snagged a couple of board seats at the once largest company on earth, ExxonMobil. How important are environmental, social, and corporate governance issues to a consumer-focused company? For that, well, we're going to turn to Mondelez, the snacking kingpin that's made one brilliant movie after another, including yesterday's $2 billion acquisition of Chapita. Don't know it? How about Oreos? We've got William Sonoma with a big yawn after an amazing quarter. Well, then we have three first blush stories, Salesforce which reported great numbers and got credit for them. Gap, which reported unbelievable numbers but confused people. And HP, which clobbered the numbers and saw its stock get clobbered. Beginning with Salesforce. Yes, Salesforce. I want to start with what I call a blank slate, or maybe a blank face, face, devoid of blush, to find out what's really going on, not in a hurry, but with some thought. Here's a stock that's been stuck in a rut ever since it announced that it's buying Slack about six months ago. But when Salesforce reported after the close, they shot the lights out. <laughs> Delivering a strong top and bottom line beat. Excellent guidance for both the, this quarter and for the full year. And you know what? For once, the market actually likes it. Wonder of wonders, the first blush actually feels right. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.